Hello guys and welcome to part 4 of the playlist or the series in which we are going to solve Java 1Z0808 MCQs. So let us just get started. Over here we have a question, we have a code and then we have 4 options. So what will be the output is the question. So we have to observe this code and we have to figure out what will be the output and then we have to select the most appropriate one. So over here we have a class named tutorial and after that we have a main method public static void main the basic java method and then we are creating a variable of type int the name of the variable is c and we are assigning value 5 then we have a string a hello after that we have a final integer i equals to 10 and then we are doing i equals to i plus 10 and then we are trying to print the addition of a and c and then we are trying to print addition of a plus i over here if you observe we have a final integer not int okay this is something that is different in this question and you have to think about it and you have to be very well versed with the rules of final in java the options that we have is a plus c that means hello is a string and it will be concatenated since it's a string at the beginning and the 5 will be added it will be hello 5 and then we have a plus i that means a the string hello plus i equals to 10 okay hello 10 that means the statement a did nothing and the integer value is 10 according to option number a there which is which we'll see then we have hello 5 and hello 20 that means this thing worked and 10 plus 10 and the i was reassigned the value 20 and the third option says that the code won't compile and then we have hello 5 and hello this is absolutely incorrect because i holds some value okay so the correct answer over here is code won't compile why why is the question so if you will look at line number seven that is final integer i equals to 10 here the variable i is declared as final so once you create a variable with final you cannot modify or reassign you cannot do modification or reassignment in line number eight we are trying to reassign a new value and we are also modifying it okay first we are trying to modify it then we are assigning it a new value that is the reason the code will won't compile okay here again is the explanation if you want to read it again then we have another question that says what will be the output again we have a code over here and we have four options and we have to decide the best answer so we'll start with the question the question has a main method then we are trying to create an array of type integer and the name of the array is a and we are putting 2 over here that means we want the size of the array to be 2 so it will have two memory location the first one will be 0 and second one will be 1 then we are trying to print the sum of the values that are present at a 1 and a 0 so what will this do what will be the output will it be a null pointer exception will be thrown then will it be 0 null or 1 so in this case what will happen is if you notice at line number 5 we created an array but we did not assign any value to the array elements of wrapper class so by default java will assign them the value null okay understood till here i'll repeat when we do not assign a value to array elements of wrapper class over here integer is a wrapper class if it would have been just int then the scenario would have been different since it's a wrapper class java will assign primitive value 
and the primitive value in this case is null just remember that all wrapper classes have primitive value null for them so in this case this will be null comma null so when we will try to add it it will throw a null pointer exception because we cannot add null so if the array would have been of type int instead of this integer in this case zero would be the value over here it is null take a screenshot of this slide or you know write it down somewhere that if it's a wrapper class then null will be the value of it if it's a normal class if it's a normal value type that would be zero comma zero so in this case no exception but if it's null and we're trying to add it then the null pointer exception so over here is the proof of the thing i ran the code and over here java throw me a null pointer exception moving ahead to another question what will be the output of following code we have a main method over here then we have three statements in the first statement if you see we are trying to create a object of local date and the object names are date and date2 and to create the objects we are trying to use the dot parse or the parse method and we are trying to give it a date in the format of yyy dash mm dash dd and we are give it, giving it in the form of string and what we are trying to print is date string then the date that this particular object value then is before date to question mark date dot is before date to so over here we will you know understand this one by one so in this case date is before date to will give us a boolean value if the condition is true it will return true and if the condition is false it will return false so if you notice over here we are trying to pass it first jan 2020 and over here we are giving it 31st december 2020 and in this particular parser are you know are uh, let us think what it will return so is first jan 2020 before 31st december 2020 the this will return true okay so in this case this option and this option uh, this option is incorrect now we have to decide between first third and fourth so now the question arises this is also incorrect because over here 31 the dd form as format is incorrect now we are left with this and this the only difference between them is this 001 and over it is 11 this 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 you know if you'll think it's very simple but it is something that you have to remember for the exam and when you try to print a date it prints in the form of mm not just m okay so 01 will be printed not 11 this is again the explanation if you want to understand it more you can pause it and read like keep a note in the exam that if you know this is a dot parse is a method and you know the methods are coded in a way that they have a format of yyy four times and then dd or mm or mm dd so the mm won't be left out by java there will be a zero yeah so that was it from my end for this particular video if you are liking the series comment down below i'll make more and more parts of it 
and if you want to check out a cheat sheet of this exam it is available available on my youtube channel if you want to know more about me or reach out to me or just say an hi you can you know visit my instagram thank you for watching i hope you liked it